TVs versus projectors. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Din Talks, where we have all the stuff to help you get better with your buying decisions. So today, we're here with another video for you. If you're new to the channel, do subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so you never miss an update. In this video, we'll see what's better, a television or a projector, when it comes to entertainment at home. Well, this is also a matter of personal choice and individual comfort, but in this video, we include all the points that will help you make a better and informed decision. Wondering the benefits and disadvantages of a TV versus home theater projector? We also compared the capabilities of the two so you can use the right technology for your home movies or living room. Overall, for a shiny and transparent picture which does not need more space, we like TVs, but projectors offer you an enormous screen to save you money. The first thing we have for you is the cost. TV projectors are much cheaper, at least concerning the dollar you spent for the screen size. A respectable HD screen and a 100-inch screen are available for less than $1,000, while an 80-inch TV would cost you at least $1,500, if not more. While most shoppers start with screen size and with other capabilities, such as OLED technology on TVs and lasers on HD projectors, these features quickly push up prices. So the winner here is the projector because projectors are generally cheaper than smart TVs for the buck. Now let's look at the maintenance of the device. Modern TVs are generally maintenance-free. The LEDs that support them have such a long life cycle. The time may come to uninstall the whole TV before you think about fussing with the backlights. On the other side, projectors are typically using light bulbs that flame out sooner. You may also be concerned that dust enters the projector. Some will find that any repair demands will be the complete deal breaker, but you will find plenty of new bulbs for projectors online if you are ready to bring them on the job. The winner here is a smart TV because modern smart TVs require a lot less maintenance than projectors. Next in the discussion is the resolution of the display. 4K is all the rage these days, and it can be handled beautifully by both large screen TVs and projectors. The resolution tail has more than just a few, though. With 4K, the difference it makes can be difficult to note unless you watch it on a big TV. Cramming too many pixels is naturally challenging to discern into a standard TV size. HD projectors are really shining here as the display is big enough to reveal the tremendous amount of clarity that comes with 4K. This gap is widening with TVs, but you have a large screen with a projector. This gap is closing, but you'll definitely want to take this path to enjoy all that 4K has to offer you if you watch 4K video. The winner here is a projector because projectors make it easier to enjoy 4K resolution on the big screen. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel if you find this video interesting. Then comes the brightness of the room you place your device into. The luminosity is vital because the dimmer the screen, the darker space needs to be for images to remain visible. Most projectors need a faint space to create a crisp image. Think a particular media room or home cinema. The projectors don't just put sufficient light to cope with a sunny, spacious living room, even though it's cheap. TVs, though, are very bright, in particular with more recent LED TVs readily available. Now, luminous isn't always better. The lower light of a projector will potentially be better for your eyes if you look at it in a dark room, similar to a home theater. Yet, the comfort and multifunctionality of a TV are hard to overcome for general use. The winner here is TVs, because TVs keep your shows and movies brighter in light-filled and darker rooms. After that, we have the screen size that both these devices have to offer. For projectors, this is an easy victory, but the distance is closing. Modern televisions typically exceed about 80 inches, but some exceed 100 inches. The size of the TV has to be within a realistic limit, because everyone would take the thing home and have it mounted up. Furthermore, jumbo TVs cost a lot, which includes all but the most extreme home movie buffs. 
look for the scale, content, and property known as the benefit when shopping for a screen for your projector. Gain is a measure of how brighter the screen will make the image. The winner here is the projector because projectors can give you that box office feels at home. Now we have sound quality. Almost every TV has integrated speakers, and many projectors do, but they are rarely decent. However, projectors do not necessarily come with built-in speakers, so you would want to invest in a dedicated speaker system for a real home theater experience in the case of a projector, so the winner here is definitely a smart TV. The last point we have is the space in which the device needs to function. There is a slight requirement of room for the projectors themselves. The displays can be stowed away with a comparatively limited projector unit. What takes space is the distance that is needed from the screen to make the view comfortable. You would be forced to sit too tight if you are trying to squeeze a larger display into a space that's too small, making all the specifics of the material difficult. Since the projector's key attraction is the giant display, we award TVs the nod in this group. This was it for today's video. I hope you liked this video and it helped you make an informed decision. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it amongst your friends. Subscribe to the channel and ring that bell so you don't miss a new video.